Yep. He's... You did your job, buddy. You're done. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to set that right there. So I have all three quarter inch pipe. You don't need three quarter inch pipe. Actually, if you wanted to, you could do half inch pipe and you would save some money. Those were about 12 bucks for all those caps. Those are not needed either. I got them because I just, I wanted it to look good. That's why I went with three quarter too because I wanted it to be strong and sturdy. But you could use half. You could even use PVC or you could use two by fours like I just showed you out there. You can make one out of two by fours. It's nice and strong and sturdy. Trust me. There's a guy called uh, on YouTube. His name is Firewood at the Furnace, and he started with two by fours, and now he has one of those hand wrappers. But those hand wrappers can cost anywhere between like seven hundred and twelve hundred dollars. They're very expensive, and and they really only save you like anywhere between like five and twenty seconds per bundle. So to me, it just wasn't worth it. I, I'm not doing that kind of volume. Um, it's not really an investment. It, it would take a long time to pay that off. You're talking like all your profits for a whole season, maybe even two. So I have all three quarter inch black steel pipe. I have three 90 degree elbows. And then I have six of the T's. They ran out of the black ones, so I got some of the stainless steel. Not a big deal. I've got four of the six inch pipe. And I've got, I think, what, eight, nine, ten? So four, eight, eleven of the 12 inch pipe. And I got two of the eight inch, 18 inch pipe. And now I'm gonna show you real quick how to assemble this. It's very quite easy. You don't even need tools. You can just hand tighten everything because you really don't have to be that picky. I'm wearing gloves because this stuff is covered in oil and, and uh, the grease and stuff. But I want you guys to just keep in mind, like I said, you could do this with two by fours. You could do this with PVC pipe. You could do this with whatever you want. You can be as cheap as you want with it. Like it do, you don't have to spend a fortune. I spent just under $100 or just over 100 I spent $102 on all this stuff right here. And then if I wanted to, I could have went with half, which would have brought the price down to about 70 bucks. And then if I would have went without the caps, it would have brought it down even more, about 60 bucks, 65 bucks without the caps. So. With that in mind, let me show you where we're gonna start. We're gonna start at the bottom of it. So this is gonna be the bottom, and we're gonna need to put a T on the bottom. And just a little hand tighten, nothing crazy. Then we're gonna use a 12 inch pipe into one end of the T right there. And if you want to, you can use a cap, but you don't need to, like I said. It was just like, it looks better to me. Honestly, that's why I went with it. And then just flip it over and then you're gonna wanna do the 12 inch again. Um, but yeah, I went with this cause I seen a picture online and it looked really cool. It looked really sturdy and I know it's gonna stay the measurements I want it to stay. That was most of the, but that's the one thing I didn't really like about the two by four setup I have is it keeps moving and swaying and creaking. So that one time it's, nice and square, but then if you move it just right, it bends out and then all of a sudden, you know, your bundles are getting too tight and they're not going in properly. So this is one, I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other one. So I'm just gonna put a T on it. Um, so this is a new channel for me. I'm brand new to YouTube, you guys. Uh, I have a lot of knowledge and I do a lot of DIY stuff. I love tinkering like this. I also have a, an obsession with tools and woodworking and uh, I like to prep I like to to be ready for anything I have some guns I, I, I just finished my CPL class um, so I have a lot of content that I'd like to shoot and I have a lot of stuff I want to talk to you guys about and help you out with and shoot some videos for you guys and if you guys could just like and comment and possibly even subscribe that would help me out so much i currently and embarrassed to say i only have 30 subscribers right now <laughs> but you know you got to start somewhere and i was told by mr beast that you just have to upload videos you just got to put some love and some care into the videos you make and i started out my first one with a cell phone 
and no editing really. I just shot myself talking about money or how to make money and it got like one or two views and then I thought to myself, well, maybe I'll buy a tripod and maybe I'll get a microphone and maybe I'll get a better camera so it actually looks decent and then I'll get some better content. And Mr. B said, upload 100 videos and then with every single video you upload, you just keep adding value. So with that being said, I'd love it if you guys could smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It only takes you a second. Um, and then, like I said, these are the stainless steel. It doesn't matter. But you put a T right here. Whoops, T. I mean, whoopsie. <laughs> okay. Holy goodness, go on there. All right. So, and then you want it to be facing... I don't know if you guys can see that, but you want it to face with it. You don't want it to be, you see how that is? So it's, it's like the pipes are this way, it's going that way. And that, so that we can connect these two like a square. So I'm going to put this T on here. But yeah, I, uh, I love to tinker. I love to do things. I own a lawn care business, so I like to make videos about that. Um, but this firewood thing, I just started this year, and it's been absolutely amazing. Did I just put that on wrong? I sure did, because I wasn't paying attention to what I was saying, or what I was doing. Um, let's try that one more time. But yeah, I started a lawn care business, because I got tired of working in the shops 70 hours a week and getting nowhere. So, and now apparently I need to go to plumbing school and learn how to screw pipes together. Why is this giving me so much hassle? There it goes. Well, that feels like it's cross threading. We don't want to do that. What am I? Ah, there we go. Sometimes it just doesn't want to seat the right way. Okay. So what time is it? 2.16. So after we have this, where they're both facing each other, the legs are facing each other, what we're gonna do is take one of these 12s. And this is important. You want okay. Here we have this part's gonna be a little tricky. Probably should have put this this T on first, but whatever. You live and you learn, right? It doesn't matter. So you could just put this T on this pole first, as you guys just seen, but you can see right here, I'm just turning it. It's not a big deal. It's going on. It's not a huge waste of time, but it. Okay, and now we have the first part of the platform. Finally, it's together. There's the base. That's what it looks like. Hope you guys are still watching because I got a little goofy there. But look it, that's really solid, you know? That's really awesome. That's way better than, you seen my two by fours out there, like the moment I put a log on it, it went current. Like, <laughs> we don't, that's not good. Okay, I would have noticed right away, hey, this is too short. So the 18, then the T, and then the 12 inch pipe. I'm sorry, you guys. I promise I'll, I'll do the best I can to make a good edit video for you. Um, I, I can tell you right now, I've watched way worse YouTube videos. But I've never done this before. I'm just going off of the picture I've seen on YouTube. All right, now you take the T on top. Okay, so 18, then the T, and then the 12. And then another T. Now you take the six, and you run the six. Hopefully you guys can still see that up there. Okay, so, so we have the six and then the T, and then I'll turn this. So we got the six. Hopefully you guys can see it from way over there. And then I'm just gonna put the T in over here on this side. So hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, and then remember, uh oh, elbows, 90 degree elbow. Da -da -da. You want those on both sides and 
One thing that's really cool about the elbows is you take the 12 inch pipe and you screw it in. And now you have another leverage. So you can tighten some stuff down if you want. Oh, that's really tight. That's really tight. And while I was up there, I also tightened this, as you can see, the, this T to this 12 inches a lot tighter now. Okay, so now that's on there. And look at that. See how you can now you can just keep you can just keep turning it to tighten it. Oh whoops. Just like that. Oh you guys can still see it okay and then you pretty much if you want to put caps on it you can you guys can't see the caps way up there but if you want to put caps on it you can Ta -da. Ta -da. don't need caps don't need them I just thought they looked cool also when you buy these pipes they come with like little orange or blue or plastic uh, caps you can put those on there too whatever or you could just duct tape it I just didn't want to expose threads because I want to nick my arm or cut myself with them. But, all right, same thing. Our last T goes up here. Oh. Boom. Put the six inch in there. That's what she said. <laughs> totally inappropriate. I'm so sorry. And then, now, if I wanted to, I could tighten this bad boy, just like so. Oh, shoot. Beautiful. Okay. Now that I've done screwing around, 12 inch, oh, just kidding. Now the elbows, you guys, I sound like a broken record now, because I keep doing the same thing on both sides, but. Just trying to be thorough. Elbows. Twelve inch pipe. We all wish. Turn that. Nice and tight. caps on like so if I can't okay whatever I'm gonna bring this down here so you guys can see the top of it I'm gonna lower you guys down and you put caps on it like this oh yeah this is perfect perfect I just gotta turn it right That's one thing I probably should have did too, but it looks amazing, you guys, and it's so sturdy. Okay, so. I'm hoping you guys can see what it is we're dealing with, but what we got here is, I'm gonna bring this outside now. Bazinga. Okay. So, the reason why this box that you see is 12, 12, 
is because it's going to give you one cubic foot. And that's what people look for when they're buying bundles like that right there. They want one cubic foot. So now with this guy, we can just, yep, he's, you did your job, buddy. You're done. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to set that right there. I'm going to real quick show you guys a bundle. Oh, that's how it works. That's so cool. So that's how that goes. And you just pull it right out. Whoops. What the heck? The tight doesn't want to come out. Aha. That it's a huge bundle. So you guys got to watch me do that. But look at that. That bundle. That is a big bundle of firewood right there, people. People are gonna pay five bucks for that bundle. So that's my wrapper. We lived and we learned together. A couple of takeaways from that is don't put caps up here. It has just enough to stop the wood from coming out the top. Which is crazy because I didn't think about that. But also, one more thing I would suggest. You could run pipe right there to there and right there to there. And then you wouldn't need caps. And then also, these legs wouldn't move around so much. See how they're turning in and out like that? It's because that T's not tight down there, but I don't care. This thing doesn't go anywhere anyway. It's literally just going to sit right here like this. And, uh... Yeah. Also, one more thing. This is an 18 inch. And remember that was a 12. For those of you, I'm 5'10". So for those of you, if this is too tall, that seemed, if, if I, instead of doing a 12, if I would've done a 10, I would've brought it down just a couple of inches and that probably would've been great. And for you taller people, you could do like um, a 24 and a 10 or something, just to give it a little, little bit more height. But you have to do two poles right here. You can't do one. You can't do like 136 because you need something to go across to give it that support right here. So let me show you guys a close up of what we did. We got a T right there, T right there, 18, 18, a 12, a 12, a 12, and then right here, another T, another T, and then four sixes, and then these are all 12s. And also you could do 10s if you wanted to, and your bundles wouldn't be so, or this pole wouldn't be sticking up so much but your bundles could still go over the top of the 10s and you'd still end up with like a 12 by 12. But look at that, my battery's about to die. Perfect. You guys, I'm brand new to this. Help me out, I promise I got lots of good content for you guys. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment and tell me how goofy I am and all the stuff I did wrong. But thank you so much for watching and I'll, go, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.